Are you stressed about the high creatinine levels that are detected in your latest labs? It's time to efficiently manage your high creatinine levels. Other than the doctor's advice, food plays a very major role and a very crucial one in managing in this process. So hi friends, I am Dr. Ashita from Medico Experts. And today in this video, we are going to talk what are the food which should be consumed if you are detected with high serum creatinine levels. So stay tuned with me. Choosing the right food which lowers down your serum creatinine level is very important. Hence, we have come up with six such categories of food which can help you lower your serum creatinine. Along with that, we are going to also discuss about foods that should be avoided and a good lifestyle to have a healthy kidney. So before we start ahead, let's understand what are considered to be the higher creatinine levels. High creatinine level may vary from age and from gender. So to understand what is higher in which age group or in which gender, let's understand this. In women, more than 1.1 mg per dl is considered to be higher, wherein in males, more than 1.3 mg per dl is considered to be higher. Whereas if we consider babies, more than even 0.2 mg per dl is considered to be higher. So these are the levels which are higher serum creatinine levels. Yeah. So now let's quickly rush into the six food categories which help us reduce creatinine levels. Firstly, the vegetables. Vegetables who are low into potassium like cabbage, bells, pepper and cauliflower are the ones which help reduce creatinine levels. Second is fruits. Fruits which are again less into potassium such as apple, berries and grapes are known to reduce our creats. Third are flax seeds and chia seeds. Now these are known to have antioxidant properties and are known to be lower in their potassium level. So these are very helpful for any kind of kidney health problems. Fourth is whole grain. Whole grain in any form have high fiber levels and are known to be good for kidney health altogether. Fifth is plant-based proteins. So legume and tofu are some of the high level of protein intake uh, just as compared to the animal uh, protein that is taken by non-vegetarians. In vegetarians, it is more important to have such high level of protein intake by tofu and legumes. Six is herbs. Now herbs like parsley without added any flavors and without any kind of sodium being added, it helps in reducing the uh, potassium levels as well as you can say creatinine levels. Now, other than this six, there are also many Ayurvedic supplements which have seen to help patients. So one such supplement which we have seen that has helped many of patients all over the globe is kidney cardam. If you want to know more or you want to purchase the same, the link for the same will be given in the description. You can take it with your ongoing medications as it is a research-based Ayurvedic kada, herb-based. That's why it has no side effects and it can be taken without any harm. Now, as we have efficiently talked about the food that needs to be taken to reduce the serum creatinine, we should be well aware of the food that needs to be avoided. And this is a very must because without avoiding this food, perhaps your creatinine levels will come bumping up. So to efficiently manage your high creatinine levels, we need to reduce down your potassium and sodium intake. That's why the food that you need to avoid is potato, tomato, carrot, canned food, dry fruits, pickles, dairy products, processed meats, etc. Addition to this, there are other lifestyle and dietary changes that can be suggested. So a quick takeaway from this is diet rich in vegetables, fruits, whole grains combined with mindful lifestyle can help you reduce your serum creatinine level. Now, visiting your nephrologist, optimizing the, your kidney health and focusing on the kind of diet, you can then start these recommendations. To the viewers, I like to emphasize that this is a video based on educational purpose wherein we are trying to focus the diet which needs to be taken if high creatinine level is detected. Although it is not a substitute to your medication or your nephrologist suggestions in any case. As far as the solution are concerned for healthy kidneys, there are effective solutions that lies within different kind of practice across the medical side. It might be allopathy, it might be homeopathy, it might be Ayurveda. But at various disease or various stages of the disease, the different paths might change and you might require expert advice for the same. A combination of different therapies might be required to eliminate the disease altogether. But the problem is where exactly you find a doctor who is collaborating together and wherein you can have across the pathies the right combination to get the right kind of results that you need to expect. So in case you're exploring for such an option, you can get in touch with medical experts. 
the number is as given below so that's it for today please do share this video with the people you think would be benefited out of this video we would continue to have such awareness sessions and such awareness videos for our public for now dr ashita signing off for today